All right, we're gonna talk about the align, the way to align style tags in CSS or align elements in CSS. And you'll remember you learned align, the align attribute early on in our HTML 101 class, right? We did uh, center, you know, you just typed in um, center uh, and then whatever you wanted in the middle, you would just put end center. And then we also did div, align, right, you know, if you remember these types of things, or the paragraph, align, right. Well, so th the challenge is, is that some of these tags are no longer supported uh, because people have moved on specifically to cascading style sheets. So we have to learn how to center things using uh, a different style tag. And we've already learned how to position, and we're going to use that position concept and our ability to move it exactly as many pixels from the right or left or top uh, or bottom as we want. So let's take a look here at what we have to start with. Um, we've created, I've created a, uh, a div uh, element, which is the following is the beginning of the Declaration of Independence written by Thomas Jefferson. And ignore this for a second because this is the class tag, right? So if I do div uh, that, and I'll do, take this out too. So I have one that says center and one that says position right, but there's no, there's no, uh, I haven't put any attributes on it. So it's just gonna go in alignment like this. I just created the, I created the div already for you to use. Here's the width is 200 pixels. There's a border for us to be able to see it. So there are basically three ways that we're gonna be able to align this text um, or this element, for, for instance. You can still do different alignment for text, but just for the element. So let's first create a class called Centered. So in this case, we have to actually create that as opposed to just using something that the um, browser already has. Although there may be some additional things that we learn about in CSS3 that let you do that a little faster. The first thing that we're doing is we're creating a margin. It's called our margin left auto and margin right auto. And that is that it basically says, I want to create the, a margin on the left side of the element and a margin on the right side of the element um, that are the same, uh, that balance and center my element. So if we, we have this here, div, class centered. So now we have to say div class centered. And just to be aware, I mean, I could call that div class America or div class Brown. It doesn't matter. Centered is not a reserved word um, in CSS. All right. So I'm going to click save work and show your web page. So you can see that it centered it. Great. Now, the second way that we can align tags is to uh, give them an absolute position and then say where it is. So I'm going to say position right and I'm going to say position absolute and then I'm going to say that I want it to go from the right margin zero pixels. Okay. So make sure I have that spelled right. And we'll say div class position right. Save work, show web page. All right, so what it did is, this one's still the old one. Then with this, this gave it an absolute position. From the right side, it moved it over zero pixels. And it started it because this is a an element on the flow of the page. It starts this next element after that. But do you remember what we talked about with regards to position? Where if you make something absolute, if you give a, a an element the position of absolute, then that removes it from the flow of the page. Watch what uh watch why that's important. So I'm going to create another one. It's going to call it div float. Right, because this is another way for you to move things and align them, right? Because we can say we're going to want something to float, and if something floats, it's going to go all the way to the right or all the way to the left. So I'll say float 
equals right. All right. Now, with without thinking about it too much, what do we expect to happen? I'm just going to put that here. And we'll say float right. What do we accept to have what do we expect to happen here? Let me get a little bit of Okay. What do we expect to happen? Do we expect it to show up underneath the position right? Meaning that it's gonna float all the way to the right underneath that? What do we expect to happen? And I'll show you what's gonna happen. If you'll notice, we have now, we have two elements overlapping. You can see this, right? So what happened is the, the float right did exactly what it's supposed to. It took the last element in the page, separated it from it on a separate line, and then it floated all the way to the right. It completely ignores the position right. Why? Because the position is absolute. If you designate the position of an element as absolute, it's going to ignore it, right? We saw that with regards to when we made the position fixed with that um, picture of Lincoln, and then everything just sort of ignores it, and it just stays above the fold. So that's something that you want to be aware of, but those are three ways for you to um, align uh, the text. So take a look at your assignment and do each of those. And great job.